Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to build linear mean square model for the given data set. In this case, we have been given a data set with uh, three input variables. First one is monthly income. Second one is monthly expenses. Third one is uh, homeowner. They were represented with X1, X2 and X3 here. And credit score is the output variable. It is represented with Y in this case. Given this particular data set, we need to answer the following questions. First one is, uh, does this data set contains sufficient number of cases to build the model? Second one is to compute the center of gravity that is uh, E of X1, E of X2, E of X3 and E of Y. Third one is, given the regression coefficient that is B1, B2 and B3, we need to find the linear mean square model here. Once you find the linear mean square model, next we need to find the credit score for the customer with monthly income is equal to 5, monthly expenses is equal to 3 and homeowner is equal to 1 here. Now we will answer these questions one by one. The first question is, does this data set contain sufficient number of cases to build the model? Now if you want to know whether the given data set is sufficient to build the model, we should have at least m plus 2 different cases or the examples where m is the number of input variables. In this case, x1, x2 and x3 are the three input variables, 3 plus 2, which is equal to 5. We should have minimum five instances or the cases or examples. Then you can say that it is sufficient to build the model. In this case, if you count here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, five instances are given to us. That is the reason you can say that the given data set is sufficient to build the model in this case. Coming back to the second question where we need to calculate E of X1, E of X2, E of X3 and E of Y. E of uh, X1 is equal to 1 by N summation of uh, X1. N is the number of uh, instances in this case or the cases. We have 5 instances so that's the reason the N is equal to 5 here. Summation of X1 is equal to we need to add all these particular values that is 2 plus 1 plus 6 plus 3 plus 3. Once you add it divided by N that is uh, 5 we will get 3 here. Similarly, E of X2 is equal to 1 by N, summation of X2, add all X2 values divided by 5, which is equal to 1.6. E of X3 is equal to 1 by N, summation of uh, X3, add all these particular values divided by 5, which is equal to 0.4 here. And E of Y is equal to 1 by N, summation of Y, add all these particular values with respect to Y column and divided by 5, which is equal to 3 here. Now, coming back to the third question, we have been given the regression coefficient that is B1, B2 and B3. Given these particular regression coefficients and the center of gravity, we need to find the linear mean square model here. The linear mean square model is given by this equation that is uh, f of x1, x2, x3 which is equal to y which is equal to e of y plus B1 that is the regression coefficient multiplied by x1 that is input variable minus e of x1 plus second regression coefficient multiplied by x2 minus e of x2 third regression coefficient multiplied by x3 minus e of x3 we know the value of uh, e of y uh, b1 is known to us e of x1 is known to us b2 is known to us e of x2 b3 and e of x3 are known to us once you put those particular values y is equal to 3 plus 0.69 x1 minus 3 minus 1.31 because the value of b1 is equal to minus 1.31 x2 minus 1.6 plus 0.56 x3 minus 0.4 so once you put all those particular values we will get this uh, linear mean square model in this case so once you get this particular linear mean square model next we need to find the credit score for the new customer with these values the meaning of this one is x1 is equal to 5 x2 is equal to 3 x3 is equal to 1 here so you need to put those particular values in this uh, linear mean square model because we know we don't know the value of x1, x2 and x3 here. So once you have these particular values, put it over here, you will get the value of y here. So y is equal to this x1 is replaced with 5, x2 is replaced with 3 and x3 is replaced with 1. And once you solve this particular equation, you will get y is equal to 2.88 in this case. The meaning of this one is with respect to linear mean square model, we have predicted the value of credit score for the new customer with these particular values here. The credit score for this particular customer is 2.88 in this case. 
So in this video, I have discussed how can we build the linear mean square model for the given data set as well as how can we get the value for the new customer with different input variables. I hope the concept is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.